Yeah, my name is Peter Beasley. I'm totally blind. So I have a different concept of what art is from anyone who's got some vision. And I'm Ian Reynolds. I'm a former art teacher. Well, I suppose former, at least former art teacher in school. Um, my sight has deteriorated over years and uh, so I now have a sort of foot in both camps of being uh, sighted but, but restricted in terms of sight and, um, and I'm still hopefully involved with um, uh, people who've got a visual problem um, uh, enjoying art activities. I never used to have any interest in it at all. Then I started going to the, the art gallery, in, particularly in Wolverhampton, when they used to run this, what they used to call art speaking. Once a month, they would, somebody would take you around, focus on a particular exhibition or two or three pictures and describe it all, to talk about the artist who painted it or or made it if it was a sculptor and um, we could ask questions about that and then as Ian mentioned going back oh, 15 16 years I started going to Ian's class and I, I do pottery to have audio description uh, to have be able to I can't remember where it was, which gallery did it, where you could walk around with a, you know, a little unit headset and as you went, as you went to the, past the various pictures, the various, you know, you could listen and they, it would be described what it was you were, you were standing by. Particularly with certain artists, there's quite a colourful background yeah. and that immediately gives you a way in. And then the other more esoteric stuff can perhaps follow, but it, um, I think it's just a matter of maybe not um, completely emphasising the, the visual aspect, but, but the contextual, the history aspect, and the, um, the sort of life and, and procedure that, that the artist would have gone through. So I'm immediately engaged by this piece because it's clearly defined. It's black and white. Um, I can make out features because they're um, well defined. And the fact that I can actually touch it as well adds to the experience and, and, and the, the sense of what I'm, I'm looking at. And the, there's a very interesting play between big plain areas against detailed areas. If it was all white, I'd struggle with it. I'd actually struggle to know what it was. So looking at the plate here, I think I'm in Birmingham somewhere, um, and I'm looking from above at a street scene, and I can make that out, but then I start to struggle. Um, it, it, there's, there's lots of, of intense detail that I'm overawed by the sheer technical ability but in terms of enjoying it as an image if it was black and white I probably would I'd be I'm sure the print I could make much more sense of but the, the lack of contrast is the problem in terms of accessing it for me um, I imagine the print looks absolutely sensational because again there are very plain areas relatively plain areas against highly detailed ones and, um, you know, I, I, the, the sheer technical ability uh, immediately um, uh, impresses me. Looking here, something, I, I feel as I'm looking at a semi-abstract piece of work with, with blocks and um, sort of circle shapes against um, block shapes. And then a, what looks like mountains um, in the background. So... Um, it almost could be a sort of Mediterranean scene, really, by the looks of things. But they, again, making sense of it, I'm making sense of it via, not really by my hand, but by looking at the different um, 
colours against each other to, to define it. Looking at the, um, the, the plate and the image from the plate, uh, the, the thing that immediately um, strikes me is it's A, an image I want to look at. It attracts my attention. And it attracts my attention because there are bold shapes, clearly defined. Um, and after a little moment's hesitation, I could work out that they were um, cyclists. And the, um, the flow of the image uh, gives a terrific impression of a, of a race. Uh, and the fact that it's as um, clearly defined as it is um, immediately makes it an image that I'm, you know, A, want to engage with, and B, can enjoy. Meeting other people, meeting other people, of course, and, and to be able to to be able to to make something, to produce something. We often do um, you've just done a series of pieces of work about uh, the kind of kit you use for walking. So he's made a boot, yeah, well. and obviously those, the starting point for those things have been um, the real item for a blind uh, student. Uh, what is basically taking place is that they are feeling an object and then reproducing what they've felt in clay, in my case, that's, how, that's what I used. And I, I, did, I regarded that as direct observation, as it was called in school. Well, it, it's mainly to do with subject matter and scale. I don't paint small pictures. Um, uh, so I tend to work larger, uh, I tend to work wet in wet a lot, so that um, the process um, leads to uh, um, uh, interesting, I think, <laughs> for me anyway, interesting um, conclusions. Um, I don't spend a lot of time with magnifiers trying to fiddle detail in. I keep it fairly, um, fairly loose, and I tend to just paint landscapes. I continue to find painting an activity I want to engage with. And to be honest, I don't see why other people might not enjoy it as well, and be surprised at what they can produce, even if their sight's you know, deteriorated somewhat.